welcome to this part uh, two of this uh, first milestone. So, like I said in the last video, we're gonna start uh, by uh, putting the app sign library to uh, to make it work with GraphQL. So, uh, like I show you here inside the app sign library, so here as the X doc, it's almost like the npm doc uh, if you came from Node.js. Uh, they have the installation. So here they say to add the app sign uh, 1.4. And we're gonna do this. So go inside your mix e, uh, e x s. Sorry, I'm French, so this is not as better as us. We're gonna add app sign, but also, like they say here, you want to read the plug. Uh, like some people are gonna need to add the plug uh, to make it work with the like the HTTP stuff. And also, we're gonna add another one. We're gonna make use in the later in the video. So we're gonna say app sign too. So app sign uh, underscore plug and we're gonna say again 1.4 so almost the, the same uh, here version and we're gonna also add app sign to ecto because we're gonna need that later and we're gonna say uh, uh, it's a bigger or equal so it's because I use a phone so here have fun, so that's why I get that, but I just want it to be bigger than zero. And now here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just open my terminal and I'm gonna run mix depth get. Well now I get everything and I think I always do it's I do mix compile. So if uh, I'm gonna get the autocomplete from the library inside my Visual Studio code if I compile. Uh, so it's gonna really help me to, uh, to type faster. So we have set up uh, we have put the library here and now we have it inside the depths right there So now one thing we're gonna start to do is we're gonna go inside the router So the router it's right there inside the Instagram web router and this is where we're gonna just set up the Like the endpoint of the GraphQL So here what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the Instagram web here. We don't need that and what we're gonna start right there and we're gonna say for word and we're gonna say slash GraphQL. And we're gonna say app sign. And look at the autocomplete I get because I did mix compile. And I'm gonna say plug. And I'm gonna say schema. It's gonna be equal to something I didn't create yet. But that's gonna be Instagram, that's schema. And after that, I'm gonna just add something. I'm gonna make use uh, inside a dev only, dev environment. So we're gonna make use of the mix env uh, environment if it's equal to dev, so to the atom dev. And here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the forward GraphQL. So just for adding the GraphQL tool, like uh, we did in the Twitter uh, tutorial, I'm gonna say app sign that plug the GraphQL right there. And I'm gonna say again the schema is gonna be again the same thing. But we didn't install, uh, we didn't create the schema yet. So why not start right there? So inside your Instagram web again, create a new file and call that schema.ex. This one is gonna be pretty simple. It's gonna be a module where I'm gonna call that Instagram web that schema. And here we need to just say we're gonna make use of the app sign that schema, uh, the app sign that schema library right there, not library, but all the package uh, toolkit and stuff like that they have. And after that here, this is where everything starts, all the magic, so the query. So, uh, like I told you again in the first video, in December, you also need to know a bit about GraphQL. And you know, GraphQL, the way that works is we have two things. We have query and we have mutation. Query are everything about getting stuff. You can have that for like a searching, you can have that for getting a list, you can have that for getting, I don't know, like uh, whatever you want. And a mutation, we're gonna make use of that when we want to edit, update, create. We want to mutate the data, think about this. So, uh, this is finally all we're gonna work with GraphQL here. It's we're gonna have like two kind of block. We're gonna have the query block and we're gonna have also have the mutation block. For now, we're gonna just work with the query and we're gonna make just the live really, really simple for us. 
So, <clears throat> how we're gonna start with them? It's uh, finally we need to think about how the application gonna work. What we have first, it's this application is Instagram, and the first thing in the business logic we need is gonna be to showing follow. We need to show photo. <laughs> this is the app. I mean, it's showing photo. You show photo, people like photo, people follow you because they want to see more photo, and people come on your photo and stuff like this. So, this is how we're gonna start with this application. So, right there inside my uh, Instagram, I'm gonna run my first um, genera generator of Phoenix. So, for those who came from Node.js, be ready to be uh, mind blowing all oh, that do stuff. So I'm gonna run the command Phoenix, Phoenix, the gen context post with uppercase P. So that's gonna be the name of my context. After that, I'm, I want to create uh, like a table for my database, a photo. And that's gonna be here with the name, and we're gonna have an image URL who's gonna be a string, and a caption is gonna be a string. So the image URL is gonna be the image URL, so for showing the photo, and the caption is gonna be the little text we see at the bottom of each image in Instagram. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna run the command right there and start. And now look at everything we got. So I go to my project now, and I open Instagram here. I have now my first context post. So now inside this post, I have two files. First file is the photo. So here is the schema of the photo. So here, I mean, it's the, um, it, I mean, it's the schema. So it's a way for, for you to just uh, module your object, uh, uh, getting from your DB, etc. So here uh, you have your photo, and now here is all the field. So think about that for those coming again from Node.js, like an object, and here it's your key, and you know it's a caption and a string, image or is a string, and also we're gonna have the timestamp will give you the insert at and the update at. So why we want the timestamp? It's because first thing maybe we want to uh, like uh, order all the photo to be uh, descendant, so we want to get the, the the latest one at the top, and also maybe because we want to show like the, uh, six hour ago or something like that and now here we have the change set which almost like all the logic happened before you create update something so example here we're gonna say we're gonna cast uh, with the attribute we want to make uh, to have the image url caption uh, image url in the caption coming and we want to make sure then we have an image url in the caption but we're gonna remove the caption because maybe someone don't want to have a caption so I'm gonna remove it from my uh, validate require. So remember, validate require. So you can put your mouse here. Validate that one or more fields are present in the change set. So if you don't have this field, if, uh, ecto, so ecto is the ORM, gonna make sure that this thing cannot be saved in the DB. So this way you're gonna normalize your database. You're gonna make sure then, uh, not normalize, but I, I think yes, I mean, uh, you want to make sure finally your database is gonna look always the same. Remember, it's not like MongoDB where you have like a schemaless stuff. It's more like a, finally it's a, it's table. So, but now here, as you can see in the, my private folder, now I have my migration. And I don't know why. Okay, I refresh in my migration and I have it right there. So here. It's gonna be uh, finally the migration gonna run for uh, Postgres, and now as you can see, we just finally create a migration, create photos. So they just take finally the photos uh, name for the table, and they just put create in front of it. They create a table photo, so that's why we put the lowercase when we did this thing right there. And we say add image URL and caption. So right there, they cap. They take finally what we've done and they just put it right there and they put a timestamp. That's it. They create a table. That's it for us. So now I can create my table. Uh, I mean, I can run mix ecto that migrate. So this is how you're gonna run your migration. And I'm gonna open a tool called Postico, 
who inside this one I'm gonna show you then I have my Instagram dev and now look I have my photo we just create together I have my schema migration so I have my migration right there we just create but also I have my photo and now look I have the ID which by default is there image URL caption insert app and update app and all these fields are what I have right there and now the last file we have been created is this post file. And now look at all that. So we have 104 line of code, minus maybe 50, 60 line of code, or like more like comment, stuff like this. And now we have already something to start. And why I make use of the generator here? It's because first thing that create for me folder, that create for me file and my migration in one shot, but also, that just give you like a kind of an example all that gonna looks all that gonna looks like when we're gonna work and look at the code <laughs> I mean it's pretty awesome how simple that can uh, this is and I kind of really like this folder structure because you know then all your logic gonna be there and the web is gonna be just an interface to show this stuff here to the client so don't worry at the end of this project, you're gonna really love how Phoenix work. So here, they just create the crowd operation. So we have a list of photos, we're getting all the photos. We have get one photo by the ID. We have also create a photo with the attribute. We have the update a photo. So we're gonna update a photo with the new attribute. And we have delete photo. And here we have the change photo for tricking uh, for tracking photo change. So you see, you have everything here was gonna be just for helping you. All the comments. I, 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 I like to keep the comment, but sometimes we're gonna just add the, the own for us. So now, what do you think about if we make the first GraphQL request to getting stuff like that? So this is what we're gonna do, and you're gonna see this is, this is sim so simple. So first thing we're gonna do it's inside inside the Instagram web. So I'm gonna close this thing. Inside the Instagram web, I'm gonna create two folder. One's gonna be called schema, and the second one's gonna be called resolver. Inside the schema, the way I like to work it's to um, to create the type about the, the 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 context. As you can see, we're gonna set post for the context, and I'm gonna just put type in front of it. So here we're gonna just finally create the object type of uh, the thing we're gonna make use of in the application. So first thing we're gonna create, oops, we're gonna create a module here, Instagram where the schema that post with the S type with the S. Here after that we're gonna make use of the app sign that schema that notation. With the module contain all the macro used to the GraphQL type. And now here what we're gonna see is we're gonna create an object called photo. Like that. And now the way I'm gonna work is we're gonna start always at the top with the field we always you we're gonna use a lot. It's gonna be the ID. It's gonna be a non neural ID. So here, what I just done. Again, coming from Node.js here, it's Pretty simple what did that do here. We just say finally we're gonna create a type of photo. We're gonna have a fill ID, which is impossible to be nil, so it's not nil, and that's gonna be type of ID because remember in GraphQL this is an ID type that exists. After that, we're gonna say fill image URL and we're gonna say no nil string. And why I say not nil, it's because if you remember when I did in my photo, I say validate require. So we make sure that when we're gonna save the image here, the photo, we're gonna have uh, a string, uh, an image URL string for sure. So I'm gonna do the same for the caption, but this one's gonna be only a string because we don't make sure it's gonna exist. Here after that, I'm gonna just put, with a space between both, all the timestamp stuff. And they are not new, so they're gonna exist. And I'm, for now, I'm gonna just say they are a string. I'm gonna change that later for uh, uh, UTC date, but yet, I'm gonna make use of this string. So now we just create the first uh, type for the application. 
So now what I'm gonna make you, uh, what I'm gonna do, it's now we need to create the first resolver to get the f this pose. And the first we're gonna work, the build is gonna be the um, getting a list of photos. So we're gonna like, create inside a resolver folder, pose.ex. This one's gonna be the first resolver and you're gonna see it's gonna be like a five line of code, I think. Instagram web that resolver dot post and now here we're gonna just say def photo so we're going to photo and now here it's elixir and our resolver work gonna work gonna always receive three uh, argument but here for now we don't gonna need uh, one so we're gonna just say underscore for both for all three because we don't need them and now look what I'm gonna do I'm gonna op open here a people right there and I'm gonna say Instagram dot post dot list photo and now this list photo is right there it's the list photo from my uh, context so I don't even need to code this part so the repo all photo gave you all the photo you have and we say just here, this is what um, you have to need. You need to receive like an OK and the code you need also. So this is what we've done right there. Nothing more. I mean, it's uh, pretty simple here. So now the only thing uh, we need to do, still do, it's inside the action schema. We're going to say alias Instagram dot resolver. We're going to alias uh, the resolver. Um, Right there so we're gonna have all the pose and everything so now we it's gonna be just more easier for us to work with the uh, we don't need to say Instagram that resolver that blah 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 after that so now here I'm gonna say fill photo it's gonna be a list of so an array of photo and I'm gonna say do and now here the only thing I need to do it's say a resolve resolver so you see, I get the resolve auto complete because now I alias this thing. The post, the photo. The only the thing we have created, and I want the version with three arguments, and we have passed zero argument. But and now I can also add a description by doing this, and I'm gonna say get list of photo. And now, if I run my mix Phoenix, that server will run my server. And I get an error, and I know why. Oops, you can see the error was type must exist in reference. Photo don't define in schema. So the only thing I need to do is I need to import my type by doing import type dot dot uh, underscore module dot post type. <coughs> So the module here is gonna take schema, so you're gonna go inside the schema folder and you're gonna take the, the, the post type. So finally, you see Instagram schema post type, and then it's just Instagram schema. So thing it's all, almost like like that. But it just oops, it's just cleaner. And now if I run it, okay. Ah, see it's on the farm. I get an error. Oops, it's Instagram web. Perfect. It's like this. It's okay. And now I'm going to open GraphQL. Again, I'm going to put the link in the description for this tool if you don't have it yet. I'm going to refresh. Go to local host 4000 API GraphQL. And now if I open the docs, look what I got. I get like a root query. And now I get fill. Uh, I have my first query with this thing right there, so photos, and I get uh, an area of photo, and you see I have my description here, get list of photo. If I click on that now, I know I can get this stuff. I can get a caption, ID, image URL, and stuff like this. So you open curly bracket, you run photo with the autocomplete, you say ID example, uh, image URL, and caption example, boom. But <laughs> we get nothing, we get an empty array because again, if we show the, the UV, 
we have nothing. So this is what we're gonna do in the next video. We're gonna make use of mock data and we're gonna see the first data just to at least see something like that. Uh, I, again, I hope you enjoy it and we talk in the next video. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.